to see about uh, Jimmy, a small utility for automating Citrix based applications or like image based automation stuff. In testing, we see lots of tools. It might be open source or uh, premium stuff or heavily premium. It can do things ease, make the things ease. But we always have it instruction or issues handling Citrix based application where the application will be sitting inside some other machine and you need to automate that via screen on top of the screen. So we always face that issue. So I thought we can build some small utility which can handle the stuff using the image based driven uh, and it should be having some framework which can make the things ease. And I know it we know we have some restrictions, we need to have some limitations to fine tune the tool. So here there are three parts I, will, I have developed this in auto IT. It's a free open source. There are lots of things like user different functions, wrappers and the image files, DLL files and it's secure. As I are using those, we have developed a GUI and which can interact with the tester uh, engineer, which and we can build the uh, scripts and we can automate the, it automatically create the scripts and we need to compile and execute those. Uh, today let's going to see our overview of about this Jimmy tool and what are the components available in Jimmy tool. It basically built on auto IT is already set it's open source anyone can download it and you can have a jeep download you have an installation download i'll share the link of auto IT download below the video link so you know like update spy everything works you know it spies the things so here object spy is something like we capture the image and below the like we can capture we can highlight so once we capture it is captured properly or not so we can highlight and check and we can delete the image also we need to ensure that we maintain our different names related to names uh, to the page so that it doesn't have a duplicate names from page to page or module to module it seems like it will store like this so we need to give the name and it will capture it. Once it's captured, we can highlight you. So once you can see, once it highlight, if it is found, like the capture was successful and it's good, then it will show the full figure here. And it says image found. If it doesn't found the image, it gives you an error saying no image found. We need to recapture it. So we can similarly. Uh, so we do have always restrictions. We need to ensure that we use that 1920 into 1080 resolution for the screen so that it recognizes that it was set for something like that. Tool works with a particular resolution. Uh, so if you download something in particular resolution, you need to ensure it will be useful for that resolution in any mission. If you it's so we need to fine tune it with tolerance everything we need to set up uh, before writing the scripts so this is something a small pity tool uh, which records the features like uh like it will create a framework of images to record the stuff so you can see there are only two options available one is a page the main folder and the object and what are the elements you are going to add so it will be like home page and you can keep on adding the images with changing something like this i think page one page two page three and in page one you can have it will be prefix with pair the folder name and what are the stuff available so so the, how we capture the stuff so they have predefined hotkeys control s is for small icons control l for large icons a long way and control b for customized capture of the images so i'll show you once 
I am done with this last script writer. We will go to the demo. We will see how the application. Uh, you can see the application here. Uh, it is something for creating the scripts. The, the top part is the object like the main folder available here. So we just need to click and select on what are the folders, what are we created in this here. Everything will be available in this drop down list. And the image also is a drop down water. The, it, this app uh, utility will auto load everything. And there will be only two options available. Either you click it on or you validate it. You can do either two or the things. And this is a tab for uh, sending the special characters you can send unlimited number of special characters like tab arrows down arrows special keys and keystrokes like stuff so once uh, you need to give a scenario name which is a script name and there will be option for ignore try it like every time you click on you can uh, uncheck it and uh, check it and click on add script it will create a file and before creating a script it will check that the image is available and it perform the same action what are you are given so that you can match it it's if not if you don't have the application available and you download somewhere all the images have been uh, captured so we can click on ignore try it directly add to the script so that you can just build your script and validate when, whenever it is available for testing so the application once like we added the scripts it will be like same way all the things so all we need just need to do is execute and run it we can compile the good part with this auto it is you can compile it into an exe and you execute where well the mission the, the mission is located target the mission is located so this is the execution this is a third uh, final level of integration with this tool this it will be on hold so this is how it goes it's a recorder and it do validation subject spy and if it is successful then we go to the script writer and script writer it tracks with driver scripts and this would be like a third party like everything success goes it will link to the uh, other folder which interacts with the excel file share the screenshots and everything this i'll explain you in this session currently uh, this is something a third party or a additional plugin to this tool so i'll show you the tool now Go with the Jimmy Spy tools. This is already executed. Sorry, I'll click on Go. You can see here the uh, GUI is available. I'll try to capture a folder here. Let's say Explorer is my file name. Click on Capture. So this is a normal explorer uh, object spy just to ensure that uh, for external capturing of the data so you can see click on highlight you can see the image found we'll go to the images you're going to work with the recorder how we record the images and how it stores the framework how the framework will be developing everything so I can say click on home is my start page and I can say or I say explore and show that we use the unique names so that it, we don't get confused and you can edit the as an identify new folder create so there I said already said control s we have option to capture control s control b and control l control s for small capture control b for uh, customized one and control for a long level capture so I'll go with control b so you can see the cursor will be automatically highlighted now I'm trying to 
capture these new folder stuff and once i have just entered it captured and left the track you can see in images a folder named explore main object is created and the new folder will be created let's add another couple of videos sorry a couple of images here and we'll go with the creation of scripts once we cleared folder create and i'm trying to make things and once we create folder we'll rename it to testing and click on tab so it is on tab and what i want to do is and we can so let's open that one i'm trying to open highlight open highlighted open folder created this is something related okay i'm trying to click on this okay now I closed it go with the script writer and click on F5 okay so I already said there are some things objects what are the folders available in images will be loaded sometimes and sometimes you add in sometimes you add in between and you can automatically refresh yeah, I'll show you how things happens. So I need to and just we need to go in a scene like a, some pattern action like level to level hierarchy. So generally I practice giving the numbers as a prefix so that I don't confuse with these steps. I can say open I can say new folder create what I need to do click on this and what I need to do is I need to make it into testing two and comma and I just need a keyboard enter so I'm just saying I'll, I'll enter I'll send a keyword testing to and click on enter and give it a script name is test one i'll ignore try it then it will rewrite it okay, i'll click on ignore try it click on add it and you can immediately see here the stuff will be added into the script every time you click on that it will not overwrite it will create a new one so, okay so i'm going to add the new one here open create and I'll simply go here and click on add script and that's it then to close it we open it okay you can see the things are reflecting as fast so this is how like how we execute now we'll stop this the sample one you know it's a little bit complicated we need to get used to it maybe it's not applicable everywhere but for uh, image based processing stuff it's very good tool and it's open source right so okay, let's execute this small piece of code here so i click on tools and click on go all we need to know we need to see ensure that uh, we go to the restore the original screen at this point so we can win activate something like that so that we go to the home screen from there the where the navigation starts so i'll simply go here click on go so here we have some descriptions so we have two options 
either we get this screen or we get a blue screen it can be anything so how we do that it's very simple we can have multiple images to record with the uh, multiple images sorry how to work with the multiple images so you can see I can click on script all you can see the file folder I want to open the file folder here once I click on new folder it's in blue color but if I open this one it comes in something like gray color I had have two images so I'll be capturing all these two images or a number of combinations or I currently the possible combination I kept three and we can use we can reconfigure it to around four or five depends on the complexity and possibilities of the applications so i'll show you the images here if i go here go to explore you can see you can see file folder in different names and i'll go back here what i need to do is in item i just need to separate with the comma with two images so that it will check the both stuff now we'll try with the normal stuff click on it step two go click on a file click snow one Today is a little delay. I have added in scripts. It would take time because that would be added as a benchmark something. So okay, we can configure the sleep and uh, wait time as per our application. This is how it works here. Please let me know comments on this tool and. I still need to develop some things and need to add some plugins to ensure that we have a smooth one. There are some cons and pros, even like I can't say it's a perfect utility, it makes the things, but it's about that thing. Um, we need to know how to use it and where we can make the things more efficient and make it things easy for us or how to help. Thank you everyone. Thank you guys.